Well, Amir Haas, welcome to uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, welcome to the Indiana Center for Middle East Peace. Yeah, it's wonderful to have you here. Uh, I'd like for you to say a word about the recent Israeli elections. Would you please do that? About the Israeli elections? Yeah. They were not a surprise. I mean, the results are not a surprise. We didn't expect, uh, me and my surrounding, we didn't expect a, a tremendous shift. We didn't expect Netanyahu to fall. For me, the party that was taken by Israelis as the, as the opposition is as right-wing as Halikud. Is not, I mean, in the basic issues of concerning occupation of a Palestinian territory and the Palestinian uh, 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 future and their rights, it is the same. The so, Benny Gantz party. Yes, so we didn't have uh, the Benny Gantz, yeah. Uh, so we didn't have really, I mean, I didn't have an expectations for something. Uh, uh, the right wing is strong in Israel. So whatever you play, how you, how, whatever, however you play the, the, these dices or these uh, pieces of a puzzle, the right wing is strong. Whether Netanyahu is in power or whether Gantz, uh, even if he would have been elected, still the, he re has to rely on the right wing. Now that the holy days are over, I mean... Uh, uh uh, what do you expect from Netanyahu's government to even solidify power more or uh, increase in settlements or, I mean, what do you expect? What I understand from my colleagues who deal more with poli politics, uh, he'll find a way to uh, get himself off the hook of a court of trial because he's uh, to be indicted. So that's his main goal. That's, that's what they analyze. I mean, I still find it difficult for this to happen, but they, uh, but they, that's what they foresee, and what they say that it'll be an exchange of radicalization, of uh, nationalistic measures, and expansionist measures in the West Bank. Uh, this trend, this this trend has been going on for years. It's not Netanyahu, Netanyahu's doing. This is there is a, a very uh, solid machinery, uh, uh, bureaucratical machinery of annexation, of colonization, further colonization of the remaining parts of, of, of historical Palestine. And uh, it, it was working before Netanyahu came to power, it's working now, and you need a real dramatic change like international, real intervention uh, in order to stop it.